Aztec stitch is worked on an even weave fabric um, without any slub, so there are no little knots in the fabric. And you create a grid um, by removing two threads um, in a pattern on the horizontal and vertical planes, and you reinforce the edges with four sided stitch. That'll be um, the, the next lesson for how to work with a four sided stitch. In order to, to center your work, um, the, the embroidery on your fabric, there's a bit of preparation you need to do beforehand. So I'm going to move across to the, the fabric I'll be using for the uh, piece that I'll be working. I'm using an even weave fabric. And to find the center, you simply fold the work into quarters and pinch the center to create a little crease and then you starting in the center you stitch under four threads over four threads under four threads over four threads right to one end Come back to the center and start again here under over under over under over right up to the end and then finish down on the on the other other, other two planes finishing i'm not going to do that now because um it takes it takes a bit of time i'm going to put my embroidery for this for this particular piece into this red satin box um, it's a Raj Mahal box and uh, they're available, that, I think I bought this one at Lingcraft or picked it up at a second hand store or something, can't remember where I got it. What I've done is I've marked uh, on the edges the halfway point on each of the long side and the short side and I'm going to line those pins up with the um, centre lines of my, my um, that I've marked before. I'm going to put a pin in the corners. To show where the edges of the work are going to be. Then I'm going to tack between those points. That gives me the shape, the area in which my my um, which will fit on top of the box. Because this um, I want this to wrap around the box. I'm going to actually work outside uh, that shape so that I've got enough to tack tuck underneath. If I was working this one, um, I'm the um, again same principles finding the center, but um, the edges are, are visible, so um, you, um, I would work inside that box to create create the, uh, the rectangle I'm working on. Aztec stitch works best uh, on um, regular shapes, um, rectangles or squares. Uh, not necessarily um, on ovals, but if you were to do an oval, like as Ralton Fitz done on this box, you would still work a square grid. You just need to make sure that the um, edges of the square go beyond the edges of the box so that you've got enough to wrap underneath, as Ralton has done here, so you don't see any of the four sided stitch. So that tacking is really important, and by counting four, because it's multiples of eight that we actually um, need to work on to do the, the cutting out. That will actually help work out where the starting point for the four sided stitch is on each one. So that's the first step. Tack up your piece and um, we'll come back once the pieces are tacked up to show you how to do the four sided stitch. <laughs> 